Welcome to Arizona Living, your home, your inspiration. I'm your host, Jane Monzuris, and today we're coming to you from the store Francis, one of the coolest places to find unique gifts. But first, here's what's coming up on the show. It's the battle of the woods, which is better for Arizona, hardwood or engineered. Our experts let you know. We're going back in time for this month's Craft Room Crash, making a macrame plant holder. We'll find some great deals on furniture that you don't want to miss. All that and more coming up on Arizona Living. I love shopping local stores in my neighborhood because you can always find something cool, plus you're supporting a local business. So today, I am with the owner of Francis. This is Georgianne Bryant. Hi, Georgianne. Hi, Jean. I am loving this amazing store. So tell us about Francis. Francis was opened 12 years ago, and I was really looking for something to shop shop in my community and there was nothing so I decided to open Francis with all the things I love. We really like to have something for everyone for price point and for uniqueness so we're really looking for a unique product a local product mostly we sell gifts but everyone buys something for the gift and then something for themselves that's the key. You have an Arizona section is yes. that right so what does that mean exactly is it Arizona like you have cactuses or is it Arizona local artists? It's a little bit of everything there too we really try and find the local goods for the local souvenirs. You do a really great job of scouring the country yeah. to find other local artists or small businesses to take their products and bring them here. Why is that important to you? Well, I think as a local business owner, you really get the shop local. I mean, you're in the trenches day to day. And so helping foster these new artists or bringing new makers into the store is really what makes it fun for them and they're able to start a business so it just keeps the local economy going. How do you find the products? A lot of times it's the internet. We have people submit their goods to us so a lot of times we don't even have to leave Phoenix to find the really awesome things. They, by word of mouth, they hear that we support local artists so then they email us with their items. Local shopping is sort of a big topic these days so why is it important for people to find their local stores and shop at them? Well, it's so important to keep our local economy going. And uh, we have so many local shoppers that come looking for artist-made goods. They want to get a special gift and they want to get a handmade gift. So they come here for that. And you've won a lot of awards in the community. Why is being such a part of the community a priority on your list? Well, I live in the community and I love Phoenix and um, I think people know the passion I have for employing uh, the people in the community, helping other businesses and keeping it going in our local area. So the name of the store, Francis, is simple but yet beautiful. So how did you come up with the name? Well, when I sat down to figure out a name for the store, I wanted something that really meant a lot to me. So I came up with my grandmother's name, Francis. Uh, there was a time in my life where she took care of me, and so I knew every day that I would love coming to Francis. Oh, that's so beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. I can't wait to look around. We all need to shop at Francis. For more information on the store, just head to their website. The weather in Arizona is extreme, to say the least. And when it comes to your flooring, they can play a big part in your choices. Well, the experts at AAA Floors have some great advice on whether you should choose engineered or hardwood for your home. In a solid hardwood, you can see the entire surface thickness of the product is a solid wood. There's no layers attached. On an, an engineered product, you can see uh, made out of many different layers of uh, wood. So the reason for that is these layers could be different species that fight moisture better than others. So by attaching 
uh, a more moisture resistant to a product on the top so it help uh, uh, absorb and uh, not allowing the moisture to reach the top. Traditionally, more solid floor are being used due to the fact that homes are built on raised foundation, right? There's a subfloor in every home and there's typically a basement underneath. So the solid floor uh, can be nailed down to a, a raised foundation subfloor and it doesn't touch a concrete slab. In today's home, many homes are built on concrete slabs. So with a concrete slab, the floor then uh, touches the concrete where there is moisture. There's always 3.5% of moisture in concrete. So when the moisture touches the wood surface, it can transfer moisture and damage the product. So in today's environment, uh, many homes we install are using engineered floor uh, due to the fact that it is highly stable and uh, we're able to fight uh, the amount of moisture in concrete slabs. The advantage of solid floor is a little bit thicker in, in wear layers, so it could be resanded uh, a few more extra times compared to an engineered floor. The advantage of engineered floor is the increased stability, uh, the ability to uh, install on top of a concrete floor where it has moisture and it's minimized shrinkage year-round without having to increase uh, any humidity in the home. They both wear exactly the same. The costs compared from a solid floor to an engineered floor are almost the same. We spend a lot of time in great detail working with the homeowners to create a floor, a texture, whether solid or engineered, to get to a product that they love, enjoy, and perform many, many years. One of the things I love about shopping local is you can always find a great gift that represents your community. And I love all of these Arizona-made products you can find right here at Francis. Here's what's coming up next. Chronic pain doesn't have to stop you from enjoying life. We'll check out wave therapy. And I'm heading back to one of the funkiest decades, the 70s. Get ready to macrame in our craft room crash. In the 1970s, one of the hottest crafting trends was macrame, or at least that's what I'm told. And guess what? It's back, but today's macrame takes on a modern spin. Check out this craft room crash, decades in the making. This is Craft Room Crash, and I'm outside Amy Guerrero's studio. Now, she is mad about macrame, and not the kind of macrame you remember from the 70s. Today's macrame is sleek and elevated. So let's go crash her craft room and find out what Amy is nodding up today. Hi, Jane. Hi. Come on in. All right. This is your craft room? Yes. Wow. It is all knotted up. I have been macraming since probably junior high. So we've got <laughs> all of this rope here because macrame is the art of knot tying. I like to work on smaller wall hangings, plant hangers, and even keychain accessories. You just learn one knot of macrame and you can create so no. many different things. Yeah. Are you nuts? <laughs> no, you're nuts. Yeah. <laughs> So today we are going to be making a macrame plant hanger. So we're going to start with a wrapping knot okay. to start our project. But you're going to take this cord and you're going to leave yourself a little loop at the bottom okay. here. And then, like its namesake, you're just going to wrap it around everything. Uh -huh. So you've got this loop here yeah. and then you're going to be able to like tuck this up oh, inside Because that's that piece wrap. we left up. She's like that's a magician. So nice. She did it so fast. <laughs> I got to repeat. And that's it? It's knotted? Yeah. You're going to start with this left one. Yep. 
You're gonna make what I call a four. I see. So then this one's over, over, and then under this third one here. This one here is gonna tuck behind everything up Good. through, I just call it the four hole. You're pulling it all the way through. And then once we tighten it up to the top, that is the first nut. Wow. So you're gonna take your two outside cords. Okay. You're gonna take that left one and you're gonna do that four. Okay, I'm doing the same thing you are, okay. And then instead of tightening all the way up to here, we're just going to leave it right there. Wait, so they're at the same height. Oh my gosh. Now, okay. we're gonna take our right cord mm -hmm. and we're gonna do like a backwards four. Oh, okay. Oh, we just made a square knot. Yeah. That's a so square you, knot. Yeah, you graduated to square knots. So next we are gonna finish the project with a wrapping knot. This is like the wrapping part. Yep. Oh, cute! And then we have this cute, adorable mug with a little plant in it. That is so awesome! Yep. Oh my gosh, I love this! Thanks so much to Amy. Now we all know how to make a macrame hanging plant holder, reintroducing an old style in a modern new way. And that's what Amy is making in her craft room. What are you making in your craft room? I'll see you next time. This is so much fun. I really, really enjoy it. I think I can do it. Yeah. Chronic pain can make life so difficult that everything is a struggle. But now there's a new treatment called wave therapy that may provide relief. I'm an exercise physiologist. I've been doing research on all different types of alternative therapies for a few years now. I can tell you this is very synergistic with other alternative methods like yoga and meditation, things that relax the nervous system. But in my experience, nothing has come even close to the results that we're getting with wave therapy. A wave therapy is an FDA class one medical therapy that has absolutely no contraindications or side effects but it produces immediate and quantifiable improvements in circulation, inflammation, nervous system, and overall cellular health. Before I started wave therapy, I had neuropathy in my hands and my feet and lymphedema in my right arm. Um, due to 2015, I had uh, cancer and went through chemo and also radiation treatments. So as for that, um, as the pain continued, I was told that it would not probably get any better and therefore I started wave therapy. People are turning to alternatives because everything that's been posted up to, up to date has, has given some relief but not long-term relief. And they're looking for other alternatives. And wave therapy is, is certainly the alternative that you want to use. Uh, I'm, I was very skeptical at first, to be very frank with you. However, after the visits, uh, I, I've made it a point to twice a month to make a visit to the wave therapy. Medicine has always kind of missed the big component of, of mental, you know, mind health. Things like, you know, relaxation is just kind of completely overlooked in medicine. They really like to treat the symptom as opposed to really the root cause, which is stress on the body or pain or inflammation. So that's, that's kind of why people are turning more towards, let's actually fix the problem and not just kind of, you know, mask my pain here for a few weeks and then I'm going to have issues with my other, other knee or something along those lines. I'm an ex-NFL football player. Okay. I'm used to being, you know, cortisone, uh, opiates, you know what I'm saying, on a normal basis every day because your body gets beat up nonstop. I would definitely recommend it for people in pain because people don't know that it's going to help them without doing these ultimate me methods of, uh, you know, opiates, drinking, you know what I'm saying, masking the pain. This takes it away. I'm happy, I have more energy, and it's been a long time coming. Because of wave therapy, I was able to get off the pain medication and be able to be 100% committed to my children. Wave therapy is going to be beneficial in terms of prevention as well as reaction to a, a medical symptom. Um, the fact that it is non-invasive, has absolutely no side effects, makes it really a great uh, non-invasive and non-pharmaceutical approach to pain management, neurodegenerative di diseases, um, things like Lyme disease. So those were really a traditional medical model really does not have a good answer for. Francis has these handmade hand press greeting cards. I just love them. Some of them are sassy, some of them are sweet. They are great. We've got more to come on Arizona Living. If you are looking for some furniture to update your space, we've got the store for you.
and bringing arts to kids in school. See how a mobile arts program is making a difference in the community. Explore more ways that people are leading healthier lives. Head over to yourview.com for additional videos from your health. Getting the right furniture can be key to any home design. And American Freight Furniture has all you need. My name is Kevin O'Keefe, I'm the VP of Sales and we're here at American Freight in our Phoenix, Arizona location. American Freight is a furniture and mattress company that was established in 1993. We're a discount furniture and mattress retailer and we have 150 stores here in the U.S. We currently have three stores in the Phoenix area, one here in Phoenix, one in Mesa and one in Tempe uh, and we're soon to open up in Glendale. We came to the Valley to offer the everyday Valley customer great quality furniture at affordable prices. Here at American Freight we have a saying, everybody needs a place to sit, sleep, and eat. Everything is so expensive these days, we want to offer the everyday individual an affordable furniture and mattress solution. We buy direct from the manufacturer and ship them to the local warehouses here. And without expensive showrooms and low operating costs, we pass the savings on to the customer. The most important thing to consider when buying furniture is quality, price, and style. Everybody's needs are different and we offer something for everybody. We offer bedroom sets, dining sets, seven piece living room packages from 498 and whole house packages starting at 998. The seven piece living packages include sofa love, coffee tables and lamps. The bedroom packages include dresser, mirror, headboard, chess, and nightstands. We also offer mattress sets for hundreds below MSRP. Well, here at American Freight, you can try it before you buy it. You know, you can come in, you can touch it, you can sit on it, you can feel it, uh, and you won't have to pay the extra shipping costs that are sometimes pretty high when you buy online and our cost is very comparable if not better than most online pricing. If you need something right away then this is the place to come. We have same day available pickup and delivery on all in stock items. Our sales staff is very friendly, knowledgeable and willing to help customers in any way possible. Our employees know the importance of turning a house into a home. Here at American Freight, we look forward to assisting you with all your furniture and mattress needs. Come down to your local store and experience our huge selection of high quality furniture at closeout prices. Here at American Freight, you get the best for less. Coming up on Arizona Living, your home, your inspiration. Bringing dance, art, and music to kids who need it most. A look at a mobile arts program. Looking for more fun crafting ideas? Head on over to yourview.com and watch more videos from Creative Living. In schools, the arts often get cut first, so the Phoenix Center for the Arts have come up with a fun way to make sure kids get their art fix. So the Cox Arizona Art Mobile was started because we knew there was a lot of people in the community that weren't able to come down to the Phoenix Center for the Arts and specifically, there's a lot of kids in the community who are not getting arts as a part of their education anymore. 
because of cuts to education and cuts to funding. When we have kids who don't have access to the arts, you have kids who don't have a whole cornerstone to their education. You need science, you need math, you need history, and you need the arts. Because we're really good at telling kids what to learn, but we're not very good at telling kids how they can learn. And we need to give kids a chance to figure out who they are for themselves. So one example of the difference that we see in kids is their ability and their willingness to learn. And the other really consistent data point we have with kids at the community centers is that we consistently hear that is their most attended activity because they love what they're going to be doing, whether it's creative writing, whether it's music, whether it's dance. The arts are really, really good and one of the best things we do in the arts is creating community. But the point is to have fun, to tap into your creativity, and when we do that together, truly everybody wins. So we conceived of this idea to help bring arts to kids who weren't getting it. The Cox Arizona Artmobile visits community centers and schools, mostly boys and girls clubs, they're our great partner in this as well. And we bring free arts classes out to these community centers with paid artists, we bring the materials, but we need community partners. And thanks largely to Cox Media's sponsorship of the Arizona Artmobile, we have served almost 5,000 kids in about four years. And those are kids who, without this, may not otherwise have had any access to the arts. Francis is really dedicated to being a part of the community and also promoting other small businesses. Every December, Georgiana and her team transfer the back parking lot into Crafteria, a one-night event where local artists, creators, and makers can sell their wares. It's a great time to find holiday gifts and also support those folks living their dreams. Visit their website for more information. I'm Jane Monzuris, and I'll see you next time on Arizona Living, your home, your inspiration, where we help you create an inspired life.